what is up guys welcome to another video in the get skills series uh hope you like the last one uh it was regarding how to set up your pc for uh, csgo uh in today's video uh we're going to discuss about sensitivity how you can find your right sensitivity the steps to find your right sensitivity uh muscle memory and how to develop your muscle memory and exercises to help you improve your aim All right so let's get started Alright, so before we hop into the game and uh, get started on how to find your eye sensitivity, uh, let's talk about something. Uh, let's talk about handwriting. Yeah, so I want you to understand what you are doing and why you are doing something and what the end result is. So, one thing that I would like to discuss or talk to you about is handwriting and I know it sounds very weird. Why do I need to know about handwriting uh, when I am here to find out about my sensitivity? So the reason for that is uh, so that you have a better understanding of what you're trying to achieve and what the end result is and what the process of getting there is. So let's think back to when you first started to write, right? When you, when you were younger, uh, the first thing that you learned uh, in the process of uh, learning how to write was how to hold your pen, right? Or a pencil or a crayon or how, whatever the tool that you were using to write. So the first thing that you learned was the right grip. Uh, of holding this tool so a lot of you might have good grip you uh, you might have learned the right way to hold a pen or a pencil or you might have learned the wrong way to do it and in turn it resulted in you having a, either a good handwriting or a bad handwriting you know uh, similarly it's important for you to uh, try and have a good mouse grip the same way how you learned how to uh, hold a pencil and find the right grip you also need to find uh, the right mouse grip for your hand size uh, which is most comfortable and suitable for you um, in this video i'm not going to show you how to find the right grip for you there is a very good uh, uh, youtube channel called uh, rocket jump ninja uh, i'll have his link in the description or in the cards on on any, on the video here um so go ahead and visit his channel he has a very good uh, video and also his website is very useful and helpful in finding uh, the right or the preferred mouse grip uh, depending on your hand size so that's first step right uh, figuring out the most optimal or the best mouse grip for your hand size similarly to how you found the right grip or to hold a pen right so the next thing after that uh, uh, in terms of handwriting is you learned how to write something for example let's take uh, the english alphabet so you learned how to write the so not light you learned how to write the alphabets so you started by tracing the letters one by one slowly uh, going through each and every single letter you know uh, it was a slow process if you think back and you gradually started developing speed and you started developing muscle memory. Uh, so here's where muscle memory comes into play. If you think back to when you first started writing, you had to trace and think about each and every letter that you had to write. But now when you write, you don't think about the letter trace or how a letter is written. You just write it. The reason for that is you have built in muscle memory in your in your arms and your brain automatically knows uh, or automatically writes something without you have to think particularly on that on that particular letter. For example, let's say you want to write CSGO. You don't think about how CSC is written. You just do it. You know, your muscle memory and your brain automatically acts. This is the same thing that you need to translate into CS. You know, so when you find your right sensitivity, when you find your right uh, mouse grip and when you're comfortable, the next thing that you need to do is train your brain and your arm or your muscles to behave in a certain way repeatedly over time and to act without you having to think. It should be second nature, just like how you want to walk. You don't think that you have to keep your leg in the front, your left leg or your right leg first and follow it up with the other leg, you know, you just do it. Similarly, the same thing you need to translate into into CS or any game you play. That's building up muscle memory. Spray patterns is nothing but building up uh, muscle memory so that you are able to do the same thing that you do with your handwriting that is write or spray in this case without having to think about it and you know the pattern, you know. So 
similarly to writing uh, handwriting it takes time it is a slow process uh, it differs from people to people everyone has different handwriting so everyone has different dexterity when it comes to cs uh, some of you might have good handwriting some of you might have bad handwriting uh, similarly when it comes to cs some of you might have extremely good spray control some of you might have very bad spray control but what you need to do is you need to be able to find a mid ground you know so now that you understand what 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 you are trying to achieve in terms of uh, handwriting and which translates into uh, cs you know first you find a grip then you find how to trace and then you write similarly you find a grip in mouse you find your eye sensitivity then you practice and you build muscle memory or you train your hand and your brain to build up this muscle memory which makes you a better aimer you know uh one other concept that i want to touch when it comes to handwriting and sensitivity is something like a uh i would say it's not exactly a placebo effect but um it's something similar so let's say that you use a ballpoint pen to write you know uh ballpoint pen uh, ink pen or anything so let's say that you've been using a ballpoint pen for a long time and your handwriting is good like you you like your handwriting and it is decent but suddenly you use something like a fountain pen or a or a gen pen and you write nothing changed the only thing only factor that changed is is the ink or the other or the tool that is a pen right but you feel you get this effect that your handwriting is a little bit better like it looks fancy or something this is the same thing when it comes to cs some days you will feel like your sensitivity is not working and you will change your sensitivity to something higher or lower and you will feel like you are playing better this is the same effect you get when you uh this is the same effect as i as i just mentioned when when you are uh, changing your pen when when you write you know it's a small small change in how you how your brain perceives things so uh, generally it is bad considered bad habit to keep changing your sensitivity because you, you are not sure about your settings and uh, you should never have as a player or as someone who is competing you should never have doubt in yourself that uh, your sensitivity or your tools or your gear is never in your favor so now that you understand the placebo effect well it's not exactly called a placebo effect but you you do understand the difference like why changing sensitivities makes you feel like it is a better uh, or you're feeling better that time or that sensitivity is working for you better on that particular day or game uh, it's same thing now you can relate to the handwriting like changing from a ball ballpoint pen to a ink pen or a fountain pen which makes you think that your handwriting has become better right so don't change your sensitivity as often uh, generally it, it is not preferred once you find your sensitivity stick to it uh, give it a couple of months uh, and i'll tell you what you should look for uh, when we hop into the game where to see whether the sensitivity is working for you or not right uh, i know this video is going to take uh, be a little bit longer but i i think it it is better that i explain what you're trying to do and uh, uh, make you understand uh, the process before we hop into the game and i show you what you need to do uh right all right so uh let's get into the game all right so now that we're in the game um let's uh open up aim bots map aim underscore bots for those who don't know about this map uh this is like a casual workshop map uh it's available in steam workshop it's for free i'll have the link in the description below if you guys uh, want to download it but uh it it is a uh, pretty straightforward we can go ahead and download it right so now that we are loaded into the map uh, let's go to the center of the screen look here look down uh, look up and try and position yourself in center somewhere over here you know just just to begin with then close these areas by clicking on these uh, buttons or this the shoot at these things and your wall should should uh, close um just go ahead and shoot a dot or make a dot on the wall right this is this will be your trace point so couple of things to understand before we get started uh let me tell you what i am playing with right now um or what i used to be i uh, what i used to use sorry so i used to be, uh, be a high sensitivity or moderately high sensitivity user i used to play at 800 dpi 2.4 to 2.6 sensitivity back in the day when i used to compete and i also used uh, used to use uh, two different mics i used to use a logitech mx518 
and I used to use a uh, uh, Microsoft Intelli 3.0 mouse. So for people who know about these mouses, you know that they are different form factors, and the grips for these both uh, both these mice are uh, completely different from one another. So that's where i came from that's those are the gear and that's the sensitivity i used to use which is pretty um high but i used i used to have better dexterity uh back in the day when i used to compete because i used to regularly practice and keep myself uh, um up to date or uh in point you know as a result of playing long hours and uh, generally having a bad uh, uh, being a wrist aimer, I developed carpal tunnel. Uh, carpal tunnel is an RSI sort of injury that happens to your wrist and uh, it is very bad and it's very painful. And if you are a gamer and you are primarily playing CS, uh, which I hope you are because you're, you're watching this video. And if you are uh, a wrist aimer, uh, there's a high chances that you can develop uh, carpal tunnel if you are not uh, positioning your arm on the desk correctly i will show you in this video uh, later on or sometime between this video i'll put in a video or a pop in to show exactly how you should position your arm on the table and to uh, have a better understanding to avoid injury all right so uh, like i mentioned high sensitivity user uh, had issues in my arm uh, in my wrist and then later on uh, i changed to a low sensitivity it took me at least i believe uh, at least three months to get comfortable or like pretty okay with my sensitivity uh, which is 400 dpi and two sensitivity right now so this is the current sensitivity that i am using so this is one swipe of the mouse pad so let me just reset um, so yeah so this is one swipe of the mouse pad on the left and this is one swipe of the mouse pad on the right as you can see it's not a complete 180 but that's okay because generally you don't need to quickly do it uh, like if i need to quickly go back i would just do this this is a 180 but generally i have something like if it's a smooth transaction i would end up here and the same way if it's a smooth transaction i would end up here you know couple of things uh, to be noted about this is about my sensitivity feel free to copy it if you require uh, maybe it works for you maybe it does not work for you like you know uh, it's, uh, it's all about preference everyone's different uh, it might work for you it might not work for you um, you might be thinking 400 dpi to sensitivity is very low uh, which is not really really low i've seen people with 400 dpi 0 0.5 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.8 you know and they struggle they do this this is very bad this this kind of sensitivity where it's extremely low people play with it thinking that they get easier flick shots again it's a placebo effect and they generally think that it's it, they have a better aim which is not in true not not at all true you will get the same amount of kills you will get the same amount of frags if you have a higher sensitivity but playing in an extremely low sensitivity you are blocking yourself uh, and pigeon holding yourself into one particular play style that is sitting holding and waiting for them to come to you while you are not able to do anything you are not able to win clutches you're not able to have a better free movement in the game you're not able to move freely so don't don't put your sensitivity too low just to think that you have a better aim or just to focus only on aim because in cs aim comes secondary or even third in my list aim is not really important in high level at all uh, when it comes to high level players or high level games or high level teams aim is something that flats lines pretty quickly because everyone's good at that level everyone can uh, point at something and shoot and click you know so aim generally doesn't come come into play at high level games so don't focus only on aim so uh that's why that's why i'm saying don't focus fully on aim uh, make sure that your your sensitivity is uh, is flexible in terms of it gives you uh, good aim uh, allows you to position yourself in terms of having good good moment moment that uh, you can uh, go through the map or outplay someone pretty quick in a clutch situation or uh, uh, try and uh, trade quickly etc etc you know uh, so yeah so like coming back again uh, sorry i digressed coming back again uh, to my sensitivity you have to understand something every every system will be different every mouse will be different i have two mouse one is a razor viper ultimate another one is a zawi ec1a 400 dpi 2 sensitivity in my razor feels smooth 
uh, and medium to fast i mean i would say medium to fast for me for my behavior in terms of uh, my system i get 300 fps and i am playing on a 240 hertz monitor so it's pretty smooth i would say but the same sensitivity on my zavi right now so if i if i go back and use my zavi and i use the same swipe you know it feels a little bit slower although it moves the same amount see this is one swipe one swipe it just feels different for me i mean the general feel is partly because the mouse is big and it's a little a lot more heavier compared to my uh, razor viper ultimate so the feel is different you know the sensitivity might be the same but the feel is different although the sensor is tracking pretty similarly uh, the system uh, is fps is same the refresh rate is same only the different variable here is the mice so so it might feel a lot different for you depending on uh, whether you're on 240 hertz 144 hertz 60 hertz you know the sensitivity might be the same but the feel of the system or the, or the game might be different so if you are on a higher refresh rate for example it might feel a little bit smoother which in turn makes you feel that your your sensitivity is higher or it is faster right okay so enough of that now that you understand what i'm trying to say let's get into finding your right sensitivity what is a right sensitivity does it mean that you found the ultimate sensitivity that will allow you to headshot every single person every single time no that comes by practice that comes by training you know and that comes by generally having confidence and taking fights good uh, what do you say good days you know you can have bad days you can have extremely good days where you're popping off so um, that comes that's a completely different from finding your right sense when you say your right sensitivity there are a couple of factors that come into play uh, for example how comfortable are you holding your mouse does your hand hurt after a session can you play for one map without getting numb or without your hand hurting are you able to quickly uh, scan through a particular area are you able to quickly position your crosshair to a particular enemy or snap on to a particular enemy are you able to correctly peek are you able to correctly move through your maps are you able to uh, train for example let's say that are you able to play death match for 1000 kills without your arm hurting that is the right sensitivity and that is the perfect sensitivity once you find your perfect sensitivity the next stage is to develop that uh, muscle memory is to develop that aim and to uh, actually train you know uh, it doesn't make sense that you uh, start practicing or you just get into aim bots and shoot shoot all these bots without an objective or without knowing what you're doing similarly it doesn't make sense to find or tell that this is your perfect sensitivity without knowing what to look for right so um coming back here i asked you to shoot on, on the wall right make a dot over here now once you make this dot like i said your right sensitivity is something that you need to be comfortable with start tracing this so let's say that your sensitivity you are a high sensitivity player for now uh, for example let's say that it is three right I started at the in the middle of the map at this point and I start tracing it right as you can see my crosser is jumping all over the place it's going here it's going here it's going here and most importantly I am having a hard time controlling my arm or basically controlling my mouse hand right so I'm I'm putting too much focus or too much effort in trying to keep my crosser on this point this means that i'm not able to track it efficiently and this is not my sensitivity range so what do you do when if it's too high or too slow you reduce your sensitivity by 0.5 you know it is a process it will take time everyone is different you might require one week you might require one month you might require six months to get to the point where you are comfortable in all aspects so don't rush the time you spend here the time you spend in trying and developing your uh, sensitivity you will gain in terms of uh, gameplay and results later down the line right so uh, since i said three is higher for me uh, so let's go down to you know generally if you if i'm if i'm uh, closer to my sensitivity range so let's say that i am somewhere at 2.2 
right this is closer to my actual sensitivity which i know is 2 right if i'm here and i want to make adjustments i will go down 2.1 uh, or 2.15 you know something like that a small increments a small decrements sorry so now i was at 3 i'm going down uh, 2.28 so i went down 0.2 right so i'm going to repeat the same same process i'm going to try and see that i am able to trace it uh, how my crosshair behaves is it jumping too much is it am i uh, having a hard time uh, keeping my arm uh, focused on stress is my, is my hand tensing up most importantly is my hand tensing up am i putting too much effort am i straining my hand so these are the things that you need to ask yourself and uh, be cognizant about and uh, just just be aware of what now right so i'm gonna trace again right i'm gonna go the same way and i see it is like still jumping i mean and to me i am finding it difficult to uh, actually control uh, on the mouse pad control the mouse on the mouse pad so let's say that you are someone um, a very low sensitivity user let's say you are one see this is one right same similarly you can see like one it's it's like jumping all over the place i am not able to track i'm moving my mouse a lot uh, and obviously if i move my mouse a lot that means i'm moving my arm a lot which in turn will make me tired which is also bad you know so this is bad for me so if you are a low sensitivity user keep increasing your sensitivity by 0.2 right do the same exercise over and over again till you come to a sensitivity bracket where you're most comfortable in so let's say that i came to 1.8 right now so 1.8 is 0.2 lesser than my current sensitivity you know and i feel that this is since it's closer to my sensitivity i don't see much difference you know so 2 is uh, 0.2 less is similar to me for for example let's say i go back to my center and i uh, look look left it's it's similar one swipe same thing one swipe it's similar similarly if i go to 2.2 which is plus 2 then my uh, current sensitivity is also same so I'm, I'm not seeing much difference so let's say that you think that you came to a sensitivity where you are where you think that you're comfortable your arms don't hurt you're not having a hard time uh, tracing this uh, tracing this dot also guys keep in mind that you don't have to be like dead center like all the time your crosshair doesn't have to be like not jumping at all you are it is going to jump a little bit here and there but that's okay as long as the jumps are not very frequent and not harsh and your arm has an easier time uh, tracing it where it is relaxed you're not tensing up your hand is not you're not you know uh, I don't know how to explain um, tightening your muscles and uh, it's, it's in a relaxed state and you're just calmly tracing it as long as you feel like this is comfortable stick to it because I, i'll show you what to do next so uh you found this sensitivity bracket so you think this is what is working for you right now so how do you go to the next step so again come back to the center all right from here we'll start a couple of different exercises for you you know so again i'm in the center i'm looking at the center point i'm gonna go left at this line i'm gonna shoot a bullet i'm gonna go back to center i'm gonna go right i'm gonna shoot one more bullet all right now that you think that you have your sensitivity the next stage is to um, develop that in your hand make it comfortable so that your hand moves easily in this new sensitivity so for this what i like to do is generally start by looking left right left right you know uh, sorry left center right and then center right and repeat so look left shoot come back to the point shoot look right shoot come back to the point shoot look left shoot come back to the point repeat this for like like 10 minutes like just keep doing you don't have to be slow you don't have to be fast do turn do turn only objective here is that you always shoot on the previous plot you shot for example if i shoot and it makes this decal over here make sure you 
shoot back on the same point it's okay for you for your mouse to go a little bit here it's okay for your mouse to go a little bit here you know sometimes if you are a high sensitivity you might end up here sometimes if you are a low sensitivity you might end up here which makes you adjust here which is fine which is normal because you change your sensitivity to something you are not used to your arm is not used to or your brain is not used to that's why you do this exercise so that you recalibrate your muscle memory and your brain so that you know in the new sensitivity how much you require to move so you shoot you go left shoot come back go shoot come back go shoot come back keep repeating this for 10 minutes every day um so after you change your sensitivity make sure this is into your warm up routine or your training routine it's not much like you might think this is this is it doesn't make any sense but once you start doing it you will realize why it is so important and how it benefits you all right um after this there's one other exercise that uh, i like to do uh, or like to tell people when they are in the process of building their muscle memory or finding their eye sensitivity right for that we need to uh, quickly hop on to another map that's called uh, yprac arena so let's get loaded into that map right so now we are in yprac arena i'll have the maps description or the link in the description below uh, it's again a workshop map and it's free to download uh, so get this map uh, and i'll show you why i like this map and uh, why i use it so so right now you have your general idea of your sensitivity you are able to trace your arm is relaxed you are able to uh, do a small exercise that is shooting in the middle left then shoot in the middle then right and you you sort of calibrate it what's next what what do you what is the next stage so next stage what i like to do is generally train your arm like for example when i say train your arm is be confident in your aim how do you be confident in your aim the when i say be confident in your aim is you should be sure that where you aim where your crosser is is 100% accurate there is no other variables there is no uh, what do you say uh, randomness there is no spray control randomness or bullet randomness what do i mean by that for example let's take let's take deagle you know and let me just shoot at this wall rapidly like i'm gonna spam it you know so you see this spread this is weapon randomness uh, every weapon has it in the game it's part of the game uh, and uh, it is generally uh what do you say how a weapon behaves but now let's say that i'm shooting bots right i'm coming here i'm shooting I'm coming here i'm shooting i'm coming here i'm shooting at times even though i am doing it correctly at times there can be a, a situation where because of the randomness of the weapon depending on the range it can miss you know so what i generally do is i run something called as recoil off i have a particular cfg to turn off recoil or turn off uh, randomness so now when i spam all bullets go to one point so now we cut out all the different variables that can interfere with my aim or with my confidence or my cross up placement right uh, the the cfg is in available in my website uh, under my profile go to godskills.gg/godskills go to my config and you'll find my cfg over there feel free to download it from there and use it if not i'll have the command just a command to turn off the uh, uh, recoil and the spray pattern or the randomness um, in the description below all right so now coming back to this come here here are a couple of settings that you need to change make it 1000 make it 9 and turn on the arena to make it large you know stand on this platform shoot at this to extend this if you require i like doing it but it's up to you again stand in center of this start on the left or start on the right wherever you are or wherever the bots are placed the objective of this is to be 100% sure that your crosser is on the head when you click you know the only time you miss something is when you are not like you aimed differently maybe you aimed here or you aimed here or you aimed here you know that's the only time you will miss there is no other reason you will miss the only reason you will miss is if you do not have your crosser on him or on the bot you know okay so let's get started i 
I messed over here because I didn't I was I aimed somewhere here I was not on his head right the objective is to go slow don't hurry take your time this is in the early stages of your uh, of your exercise that is that you just found your sensitivity you started doing the previous exercise and now you are here doing this so you just got started on this so do not hurry take it slow shoot 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 carry on see i completely missed there because i missed my aim was not on top again so left to right then again from right to left i missed again okay so as you saw i missed a couple of time which is completely okay you are going to miss a couple of times in the beginning when you miss or if you think that you're going to miss a lot so let's say that you came here and you're missing like you missed this guy you missed this guy you, you you feel like you're missing a lot don't go to change your sensitivity missing doesn't mean that you have the wrong sensitivity what you should be looking for here in this exercise after 1000 bots is is your arm hurting is it relaxed is your hand relaxed is your palm relaxed is your grip comfortable um any sort of discomfort met you need to understand why it came <clears throat> did, did your does your arm feel tired because you kept moving it a lot you know you kept moving here here and it's making you tired or does your arm feel exhausted or sore because while moving you tried making micro adjustments with your wrist and you tried tensing it up you know so let's say that i went from here to here from this guy to this guy but i moved my arm from here to here but when i actually aimed i tried and do, did some adjustment using my wrist or my palm you know but uh, during that adjustment i tensed up i tried to tense up my arm so those are the things that you need to look for in this 1000 bots training session don't change your sensitivity if you're missing it is gradually going to develop and you will gradually going to feel much more comfortable but if you are finding that your arm is hurting or you're feeling tensed or sore understand why it's happening is it happening because you're having a hard time to get it closer or you're having a hard time controlling it after it, it, it comes closer to an enemy understand the difference if it is here you're trying and bringing it on him but if it is on him you're trying to control on him like you're trying to make sure that it is on him so understand the difference see how you feel it's very important uh, and it's all about preference of how each of you feel when you play so once you do this keep doing it 1000 bots go slow don't hurry okay keep doing this 1000 bots do it for like however i don't know whether you some of you might take 10 minutes some of you may take 15 minutes but do this daily without fail if you are someone who is looking to be a competitive player who is looking to get better at cs or generally wants to improve in cs make sure you have a small routine that is 15 to 30 minutes of routine not practice routine where you come into the game you practice your sensitivity or you practice your muscle memory keep yourself sharp routines are different warm ups are different practice uh practicing is different they are all um what do you say similar in terms of uh concepts but they fall into different time frames you do not want to warm up for one hour you do not want to practice for one hour and get into a match you know practice is different practice can involve uh, spray control practice can involve learning angles lineups pre shooting counter strafing uh learning uh smokes those are all practice warm up can be just getting into the game feeling your sensitivity feeling how you feel that day uh, are you comfortable in the day are you uh, is your uh, mouse pad feeling the same same way it always feels or is it uh, a little bit different or how you are feeling that is warming up you just need to like you know get up and going uh, routine is different where you come back to the same thing over and over again in a short period just to familiarize yourself it's like think about it this way um let's say that you are 
uh, a painter or someone a musician or or a guitar or something before you play a song or you play something or you paint something you you are just going to go and brush up your skills you know you're going to warm up slightly routine or if you have a routine that you before you play a main song you might play something light on your guitar similarly you do the same thing in cs it's a routine so you come back here do this routine every single day uh, it might take you 10 minutes it might take you 15 minutes but do this every day you know gradually i i am not saying do this every single day like this don't like don't be slow but be sure all all of your shots needs to be on point that means it should you should be 100% sure that the crosser is on his head when you click okay next thing is in the same exercise uh, you went from left to right or right to left like you went one side to one side you know the next thing is to snap on from each enemy to each enemy for example right so here i was able to snap on to each and every en- enemy quickly and comfortably and i was accurate so this is what you need to get to uh, this is basically a combination of flicking uh, when you say you, you know people say you need to practice your flick shots but flick shots is all about snapping from enemy to enemy and you need to make sure that you are comfortable going from one enemy to the other one without overshooting or flicking that is coming here or like for example like this you know fast you are trying to flick fast but it's landing here or here or here your flick should be controlled so if i flick from here to here it should be controlled and when i'm flicking i should again be relaxed my arm should not tense up that is the secret of having your right sensitivity doing something comfortably doing something right without having to strain your hand is your right sensitivity so again flicking you should first learn how to flick from i mean snapping from one target to one target do it randomly first start one way uh, like i first first told in the video go from left to right or right to left gradually slowly next snap from one target to the another from one side for example just go from snap from here to here then snap from left to right then slowly build randomness you know slowly build add randomness to your aim so that means shoot here shoot here shoot here shoot here get more movement into your arm right this will also make you understand whether uh, you are able to control in a tense situation if you are able to quickly uh, change target or shoot at or aim at multiple targets you know sometimes there will be situation where you have to multi frag so you must be able to go from target to target to target fast as soon as possible and be accurate at doing it you know in all of this practice you might have observed that i was always in the center and i did not move as such like i did not do this you know i did counter strike because that's not the objective of this the objective of this training or this exercise is to generally um, help you develop your uh, muscle memory or your make your brain or your, and your arm understand that this is a new sensitivity this is how it should move this is how much it should move between targets and how it should move and while doing so you should be comfortable right so this is one of the exercises now there's one more exercise that i uh, like to do uh, or add in my ut- routine and that's uh, again in the previous map that i showed that is aimbot so let's get into that map aimbot so box okay so let's wait for it to load all right so we are once again back in aimbot and uh, let's get started so go back here shoot at these things so the only uh, section that's open is in the front okay shoot at the third one so that only three are uh, enabled so that's the distance right next open up the console and type bot underscore kick all the bots are gone right come here remove this uh, on your cons on here it should show bot armor none right once that is done click on fast respawn right um go back to the center again roughly in the center of this block 
right pick up a deagle or uh, any any weapon that you have execute the same config that is uh, recoil off right shoot in the center now go ahead and add a bot a bot is set now the objective of this is to be able to sh sh reset at the center snap off to him shoot 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 as you can see this is the objective you need to be able to reset your aim at the center and quickly go and aim where the bot spawns because a bot will spawn randomly and since fast spawn is uh, turned on as soon as he dies he'll he'll spawn you know so here are the two things you have to keep in mind you should always reset your aim to the center make sure you reset back to the center and once you kill center back to center this is this will also help you uh, slowly uh, develop cross a placement that means you will be able to quickly let's say that he spawned, spawned over here you'll be able to quickly uh, develop uh, a muscle memory or your brain will quickly able to position your crosshair onto him without having to struggle you know so it doesn't matter if he spawns here doesn't matter if he spawns here you will find yourself that over time you were able to quickly and easily place your crosshair onto him you know by doing this you you develop your arm movement that means that you don't for let's say that you came from wrist to arm uh, aiming uh, and you're having difficulty in it so this will help you um, uh, practice and build a routine and build a messy memory to use your arm instead of your wrist so here shoot come back shoot come back the next thing that you can also do here is fast aiming like i said kevlar is turned off uh, fast spawn is on the objective is stand here or stand here whichever is closer or whichever is comfortable to you and start shooting wherever the boss spawns try and try and uh, follow him so the good way to do this is to turn on uh, the bot challenge so keep it at uh, 500 or 1000 wherever you're comfortable and you start you know get 1000 kills do 1000 kills by uh, the reset method that is go to the middle shoot here come back middle come back middle this is a reset method the other method uh, like i showed is fast aiming that is just try and kill or try and aim as soon as possible right so this is the second method so these are the things or these are the exercise you need to do to generally develop your muscle memory generally develop uh, a hand or a hang of your sensitivity and uh, be sure in your sensitivity so hope you had a better understanding of what you're trying to achieve right now and if you have questions as always feel free to reach out to me uh, via instagram or leave a comment below or uh, drop by my stream i stream every single day 12 30 am ist so if you have any questions uh, or generally require help or you're not able to understand something feel free to reach out and i'll be happy to help you out so hope this guide is useful uh, i know a lot of people have uh, been waiting for this and i'm extremely sorry this took uh, as long as it did uh, I just couldn't find the time to do it uh, or do it in the right way. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know if it helps you. Let me know if you see an improvement um, or how long it took to see an improvement. And uh, yeah, one other thing, be aware that some of you might uh, uh, feel like after doing this change, you're not seeing results. You are actually playing worse or you're, uh, you're not getting as much as kills, uh, kills you were getting. Or some of you might see improvements immediately after doing the practice because everyone's different. Everyone learns in a different way. Everyone has a different uh, pace at what their body can adjust to, you know. So don't rush, give it time. Like I said, one week, one month, six months, you don't know, it's a process. Everyone's different don't be disheartened you will get there but keep in mind the points that i told the objective is to find something that you're comfortable with your arms don't hurt 
you are able to move you are able to move around the map completely freely you are able to trace that dot without any discomfort uh, you know that's what finding a right sensitivity in the next video i will show you about uh, spray control maybe if you guys want to learn how to trace something what is spray control etc etc or if you have any video or a topic you like to do, like me to do a video on please let me know and i'll make a video on it and he and try and explain to you guys uh, or show my perspective on or my take on that topic so guys that's it hope you like the video make sure to hit the like button if you did not like the video hit the dislike button leave a comment below and let me know what i can do to make it better and like always i'm doing a giveaway right now on my channel so go to instagram follow click on the giveaway post to know more about it and thank you so much for watching uh, share it with your friends and i'll uh, see you on the next one ciao ciao